Welcome everyone. Today we are diving into the exciting world of video editing and exploring Filmora's groundbreaking voice cloning AI technology. I'm Scott and you are hearing my real cloned voice and I'm thrilled to guide you through this incredible development. So let's get started. Before we begin I want to talk about the incredible Filmora Creator Hub. Creator Hub is a place where you can find tutorials and secret skills to inspire your video editing. The Hub can be moved around and enlarged. You can choose different categories or just search directly for your interest. Learn everything about Filmora in one Creator Hub. Well, okay, everybody, enough of hearing my cloned voice. This is my real voice, so now you can compare what the clone voice sounds like compared to my real voice. I think it's pretty darn close myself, and I will tell you, um, I've tried cloning five or six times until I finally realized I just needed a really good microphone in a quiet room. So I am using the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone on my laptop to do my voice cloning. I've tried other ones. I get some good results, some bad results. So bottom line, just use a good mic and you'll have some pretty darn good results. Let me show you exactly how this works. This is all related to text to speech. So let's go to title, grab a default title and just throw it down there. Let's go to titles and change this to something else. This is my cloned voice. Now, just so you understand what we're trying to do here, we are going to clone our voice or your friend's voice or whoever's voice you want to clone and then that voice could be used for text-to-speech along with a lot of the default voices that come with Filmora. In this case we want to use our clone voice. All we do is we go right here to text-to-speech now you can see I've already got one and I called it my voice but if you want to make a brand new one you'll check this um, you'll click on this which I will do for you and you can see that I am using the Rode microphone okay you can use whatever you want try different ones um, that's my recommendation try different ones and also go in the settings of your microphone and uh, try different adjustments until you finally get what you really want so what you see on the screen there is something I have to read out loud. So in order to clone your voice, first you have to record with Filmora that statement, okay, that they're going to take my voice and use us, and they're going to use it as a synthetic version of my voice. After we say that out loud, we'll record it. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for you so you know what to expect. It's ve this is the most important part. Emotions and accents. So when we get to talking about, we're going to read out loud a, a crazy little story here in a second. Put your emotion in it, et cetera, et cetera. Watch this. I, the video creator, am aware that recordings of my voice will be used by Wondershare Technology Group to create and use a synthetic version of my voice. Okay, so it took that one. Next up. Uh, you can change the name right here or just change it later. I'll show you how. And you're going to read this story. You need to read this story between 20 seconds and one minute. And I've read this story multiple times to get my voice as accurate as I could. And the trick is read the story first before you record it. And then understand where you want to put the emphasis, the, uh, what do they call it, the inflections. Um, so right here, he shouts. So don't just say, he shouts, you know, the lion runs at him, he is afraid, and he falls into the river. He can't swim. See what I'm doing there? Read it like you mean it, because the AI technology is going to hear all of that and then learn how to put those, those kind of things into uh, your own text-to-speech later on. But I'm just showing you what to do. One day... There's a comma, so I'm going to pause. One day, a monkey rides his bike near the river. This time, he sees a lion under a tree. The lion runs at him. 
you get that? Don't say, the lion runs at him. Say, the lion runs at him. He is afraid and falls into the river. There's a period, so I'm going to have a pause. He can't swim. He shouts. The rabbit hears him. He jumps into the river. The rabbit swims to the monkey, but he can't help him. Luckily, see how I said luckily? Luckily, an elephant comes along. He is very strong. He helps the rabbit and the monkey. Three friends are very happy. They go to the elephant's home. Then, three of them become good friends. And then you would stop the recording. So, my advice is, this is the same story you're going to get. Everyone gets the same story. Don't hit tap to record. Read this story out loud five or six times until you get it the way you want it to sound. And then record it. Once you record it, you'll be back over here again under my voice. You, know, you can click the star for favorite, which I did. You can listen to a short version of something else to see if you like it. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, that sounded just like me to me. And you can also right-click on that, delete it if it sounded terrible, or just rename it to whatever you want.